In this video, we'll see the best specification required for a PC or a Mac to run AutoCAD software smoothly. Hey, I'm Jayesh, and this is the Engineer's Guide. If you guys are new to the channel, I make tutorial videos on AutoCAD, SketchUp and other softwares. So if you guys are interested in it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have opened the Autodesk official website and there they have given the recommended specification required to operate AutoCAD smoothly on a Mac or a PC. So I've opened it. I'll drop the link in the description. You guys can check those out too. So for using AutoCAD 2019, on a PC, the operating system is Windows 7, 8.1 or 10. You can use either of those. The processor, the basic requirement is 2.5 to 2.9 GHz. The recommended way of which uh, AutoCAD recommends is 3 GHz. The memory, that is the RAM, is 8 GB. The minimum 8 GB is required to run AutoCAD 2019 as per the AutoCAD official website. And the recommended is 16 GB. The display that is uh, the screen is 1920 by 1080 with two colors or if you want better display you can also opt for the 4K displays as well. The display card that is a graphic card is 1 GB GPU is the basic requirement and recommended is 4 GB GPU that is the graphic processing unit. The disk space a minimum of 6 GB will be used by the AutoCAD software so most PCs have that. The browser if you are using the AutoCAD web application then a Google Chrome is required which very few people use. So that is the basic requirement for using AutoCAD in a PC. That is what AutoCAD says or what AutoCAD uh, recommends. Sum it up again. The you need operating system minimum of Windows 7. The RAM required basic is 8 GB. The processor basic is 2.5 to 2.9 gigahertz. The display is 1920 by 1080 and the graphic card is 1 GB. This is the bare minimum which AutoCAD says you should have to use this software that is AutoCAD 2019 on a PC. So now let's jump into Mac. So for a Mac the you should minimum have Apple Mac OS Sierra 10.12 or later. The, the CPU required is 64 bit Intel CPU. For faster usage they recommend Intel Core 2 Duo CPU 2 GHz. The memory that is the RAM required is a minimum of 3 GB. 4 GB and above is recommended by AutoCAD. Uh, the display resolution is 1280 by 800 display with true colors. And the recommended display is 2880 by 1800. The display space is a 3 GB for downloads and installation which most Mac have. And uh, let's say you are using uh, AutoCAD Plan 3D then there are additional requirements that an additional disk space of 8 GB is required and a 64 bit operating system is required you can't run it on a 32 bit one. For AutoCAD Map 3D the disk space additional that is 16 GB is required a RAM of 16 GB is required a 64 bit operating system is a minimum. Then for AutoCAD architectural additional disk space of 10 GB for electrical MEP 12 GB additional is required. No additional required for mechanical and raster design. So this is the bare minimum. Uh, to just sum it up again, the bare minimum which AutoCAD is telling is you should have a minimum of Windows 7 for a PC, a basic processor of 2.5 to 2.9 gigahertz, a memory that is RAM of minimum 8 GB, a graphic card of minimum 1 GB that's a dedicated one and it is space of minimum 6 GB. This is the bare minimum to run AutoCAD 2019 swiftly without any hassle that is trouble free. Mind you this includes everything the 3D, 2D, AutoCAD mechanical and everything is being considered. So AutoCAD is thinking yeah, we are going to use all those components and then they have given us this blueprint. For me personally I only use AutoCAD for 2D drafting so I personally use a Lenovo laptop with Intel i5. Uh, the RAM is of 4 GB and I'm having a dedicated graphic card of 2 GB. So that is what I'm having and for the use of 2D design, I think that is more than enough. But if you're using it for 3D design, then I would say you guys should go by the recommended list only so that you don't have to change the laptop or the PC in 2-3 years again. If, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button and share this video. 
and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos from me. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you.